The Bengal mesmerizes cat lovers worldwide with this exotic look. But don't rush to get one just yet. First, let's learn the pros and cons of this wonderful cat breed. Starting with the pros. Number one, they're unique in the domestic cat kingdom. They're gifted with a luxurious coat. It's incredibly soft to the touch, much like silk. But what sets Bengals apart is their gorgeous rosettes. The Bengal is the only cat breed that can display them. Number two, Bengals are highly social cats and love their family deeply. They'll always be by your side, either supervising your activity, enticing you to play, or looking for cuddles. Number three, Bengal kitties are incredibly easy to groom. An occasional light brush is all it takes to keep this cat's coat looking amazing. What a relief! Number four, Bengal cats are renowned for their intelligence. These clever fellows love anything that challenges their brains, like food puzzles, and can effortlessly learn tricks. Some retrieve toys naturally and most love a leash walk around the neighborhood. Due to their intelligence and affection-seeking behavior, Bengals are more like toddlers than pets. They're not typically afraid of water, so expect them to learn how to turn on the faucet. Still, their out-of-the-ordinary brains can be problematic, and I'll definitely touch on this later. Number five, they get along well with other pets. Bengals are great if you have dogs, since they're super active. They also love to play and interact with other cats. But they can be too much for lower energy kitties, so make sure to match your cat's temperaments. Number six, Bengal cats love to chat. And I think that's a plus for most cat parents. Your Bengal will be waiting to tell you about their day when you come home. They meow just like any other cat, but they also chirp, trill, and even howl. Number seven, they might be better for people allergic to cats. While there's no truly hypoallergenic cat breed, some do better than others. But what causes the allergy in the first place? The most dominant allergen is produced by the cat's sebaceous glands and found in the cat's fur. It can also be found in the cat's saliva in lower quantities. While some online resources state Bengals produce fewer allergens than other cat breeds, I haven't found any legitimate studies that conclude this. Still, Bengals have a thin undercoat and shed less than other breeds. As such, there will be fewer allergens in the air, at least in theory. But you should always consult with your doctor before getting any cat if you're allergic. Number eight, they love the outdoors and aren't afraid of adventures. The Bengal can accompany you on your walks around the neighborhood, and who knows, maybe even on your hiking trips. Bengals can make excellent companions for the right people. But we also need to discuss this breed's disadvantages so you can see the whole picture. Number one, they're too active for the average person. The Bengal is one of the most energetic cats in the world. Don't think that's easy to handle. These brilliant kitties need constant entertainment. It can be overwhelming at times to make sure their needs are met, which brings us to the next one. Number two, they become mischievous when bored. And if you're wondering, what could a medium-sized cat do? Here it is. A bored Bengal will do anything to get your attention, from opening cupboards and drawers to scratching furniture and even spraying inappropriately. Plus, your Bengal could suddenly decide to chew on cables or shred your curtains. Basically, the brilliant Bengal will find a way to get you to play. You should only consider one if you have the time and are willing to care for its needs. Number three, they hate being alone. As I already mentioned, Bengal cats crave companionship, which can be pretty problematic. A Bengal left alone for too long will most likely develop separation anxiety, become destructive, or even resort to self-harm. As such, Bengals aren't suited for people working away from home. Please keep this in mind before getting one. If that's the case and you still want one, at least get your Bengal a companion, preferably a litter mate. Number four, they need bigger homes. Bengals need to have enough space to run around, climb, and jump. Periodically moving the furniture around will help provide the proper stimulation for your Bengal. You can learn more about the perfect environment for a Bengal cat in this video, which I highly recommend watching after this one. Number five, they might need catios or walks to be happy. Since Bengals are so active, a larger home might not be enough. It would be great to have some space for a catio. A leash walk can also do the trick if you live in a quiet neighborhood. Number six, Bengal kitties talk a lot, and while that's lovely, they can be pretty loud. Keep this in mind if you prefer a quieter environment or have thin walls and picky neighbors. Number seven, they're prone to developing a serious health issue called HCM. HCM causes the progressive thickening of the heart's left ventricle. It can lead to sudden death. The condition isn't curable, but the medicine can prolong the affected cat's life if detected early enough. Sadly, even a kitten born to healthy parents can develop it, as HCM cannot be detected through genetic tests. On the plus side, accredited breeders screen their cats yearly against many health issues, preventing affected cats from mating. That's why I highly suggest staying away from backyard breeders. The Bengals' other major health concerns is progressive retinal atrophy, which isn't life-threatening but can still affect the cat's quality of life. And now, I highly suggest watching this video next to learn more about the Bengals' health, personality, and perfect environment. See you there!